out of longing for you, mon chéri. Fantastic. Well, we, how good well we? We were wonderful. Oh, we were fantastic. You know, ah. the colors in this house, they are so beautiful. Mm. They are like uh, the Monet at the sunset at La Gare Station. Monet? What? The Saint La Gare, you know, in Paris, it's the station. Uh, it is the train station. You know, he has the color of the sunset. It is beautiful. I think it looks like a big orange or pumpkin. You know, maybe we can eat it. <laughs> maybe we don't like it. Maybe you can eat them all. You just want to cook Listen, everything. No, I think you have excellent taste in color. But I don't understand why you wear so much black. You are beautiful in color. And, and you know what? I just want you to know, Scarlett, uh, that I really like your house. I know you yeah. do. I love uh, it. I like your house, Scarlett. You I have know. a beautiful house. I love it. I just, and I want to thank you, I really do from the bottom of my heart. I want to thank you so much for helping my good friend. Mm. But um, he has to go home. I told him he could spend the night. Mm. But he has an early audition. <laughs> oh my God! Ah. Uh, oh, I am so sorry. I, I did not realize you were back. <laughs> oh my! Do you think I can drive him back to the club? Please? Oh, come in. Come in. Hey, are you still up? Oh, yeah, I can't sleep. I think I had a little too much to drink. <laughs> Can I come in? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Did you get Bruno home okay? Oh, yes, I fed him so many espressos. He's going to be fine. He's very charming and funny, isn't he? It seems like he loves you. Oh, no. It's not like that. Bruno is like... He's like a brother to me. I really appreciated you being there. I had... I had such a great time. It was wonderful to have you. You know, you really did surprise me. You're a very good actress. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I just, I wish my mother could have seen it. Where is she, your mother? Oh, both my parents died when I was very young. Oh, I'm sorry. But you know, it's enough about me. I mean, what about you? Why are you so unhappy all the time? I'm not unhappy. You are angry all the time. I am not angry. 
here she comes. <laughs> I guess I better get back to bed. It's almost morning. It is morning. <laughs> You're right. It is morning. Well, good night. Who is it? It's open. She's get up? Uh, no. No, 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 no. You have perfect timing. I was just about to call you. Is everything okay? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want some coffee? I made it myself. No, no, thank you. <clears throat> you are smoking pot at 9.30 in the morning? Helps me relax. You just got out of bed. Why do you need to relax? I'm under a lot of pressure. What pressure? You don't even have a job. I'm on the verge of a really big deal. Are you selling pot? <laughs> I can't believe this shit. Am I selling pot? Well, why not? You haven't had a real job since you got fired from Dad's firm. Scarlett, did you just start therapy again? You got a problem. I set you up with a gorgeous girl, and, and you're still jerking off? This is just what I needed to lift my spirits. You need help. I don't need help. I have Shiva. Uh, and her divine wisdom. She told me that I have a very gentle spirit and that I should follow my instincts. And I asked her about you. She said you have bad karma. You need to get yourself to an AA meeting. I smoke a little pot, Scarlett. Why do I need to go to an AA meeting? It's all the same. You can't deal, so you medicate. Now that you ruined my morning, what do you want? Um, Rosita needs to stay in the country. Your maid? Not exactly. Isn't the fact that she's your maid enough to keep her in the country? She's not the maid. She's not the maid? It's a long story. Are you asking me to get her a green card? Because I don't do that anymore. I, I thought you might have a connection or something. Scarlett, you're the matchmaker. Find her a husband. This is a legal thing, not a relationship thing. Is something going on between you two? Oh, don't be stupid. Wait a minute. We are just friends. Is your man a carpet muncher? Oh, you are so gross. <laughs> Is my sister a lesbian? Oh, oh. God. <laughs> are you gonna help or not? Why should I? All you do is criticize me. Because I am your only sister and I introduced you to the wife to be and I paid for the goddamn engagement ring, that's why. I'll help you with your maid if you help me with this. See here? Here's the whole thing like this, okay? So mm -hmm. what you do is you take your plants and you space them all out because they're mm -hmm. going to grow into really big trees. Mm -hmm. And you know, so first you dig your hole and you put mm -hmm. your fertilizer and everything like that, right. and then you take them out and you put them in here because you know, smell. Mm. It's gonna be really good over the food, it's delicious. Mm. <laughs> okay, so let's dig the hole first. Okay. okay. What's this? I don't know. You don't know? No, not today. <laughs> I think it's sage, I'm not quite sure, but it's gonna taste good either way. <laughs> okay, so then we take this out. Mm. Okay. Oh, we need to cut it. Should we cut it? You want to cut it for okay. me? You cut it for me and I'll okay. get the other one. Oh. What is it? This, my dear, is a special dish called poikikos. Poiki... Poik... Poik what? <laughs> poikikos. But that's close enough. It is made of mm, tender lamb. Aromatic spices, a little uh, potatoes, carrots, and of course, a very secret family ingredient that I might tell you about if you believe yourself. Mm, well, it smells incredible. The poikikos. Mm. You know, you need to relax a little more. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you should be sorry. Mm -hmm. You're very strange, do you know that? I know. I'm weird. But I like strange girls. I like 